everyone. Welcome back to another week in our journey. If you're new here, let me fill you in. This is Behind the Design, our weekly series where I document my process in creating my own digital planner and building an online store from scratch. Each week, we dive into a new aspect of this creative journey from idea inception to final touches. I'll take you through every twist and turn. Throughout this journey, I'll be working closely with Shay, the founder of the Digital Planner Academy program and the Pink Ink Stationery brand. And I will be applying everything I learned from this incredible resource. You'll get to see all these teachings in action as we progress. We've got an exciting journey ahead of us, full of learning, exploration, and of course, a bit of fun. So whether you're joining us for the first time or have been following along, I'm thrilled to have you here. Okay, so let's dive into this week's video. Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning in again and uh, watching our second video of this series. And it's been interesting. I am going to be sharing some of my findings from um, completing milestone one of the Digital Planner Academy. And I just wanted to get started with, I don't want this to sound like a pitch or anything, but really engaging with the Digital Planner Academy from the perspective of a student. I'm really starting to see the value of it because I've always looked at it through the lens of working behind the scenes as a marketer. I'm really enjoying it. And it's something different to actually go through the process that your students are going through. So that's the first thing I wanted to say. And then I have to admit, on a personal note, this past week, while I've been trying to complete Milestone 1, which I did manage to complete, which I'm very proud of, I've been working on doing my Italian driver's license. And it is very painful. <laughs> I am going to be writing my theory test on Monday. Unfortunately, my driver's license in South Africa is not recognized here. So I have to go through the whole process, even though I've been driving for, I can't even, I don't even know how many years, over 10 years at least. It's difficult. The terminology in Italian is very difficult. <laughs> And I think it's one of the most challenging things I've ever gone through living in this country. So that is, on a side note, I'm trying to juggle work, study for the Italian driver's license. And then I have the joy of doing this project that me and Shay are doing. I just wanted to share my findings a little bit about working through the Milestone One work in which I started to just brain dump some of my interests, what I do, and then from there, see how that could filter in to different types of product ideas. And what I discovered is I really want to build this planner for creatives, but I know I do not have the knowledge in terms of fine art, like to create a planner specifically for painters or people that draw or do studio art. As I was jotting things down, something became really clear to me, and I'm going to teach you a new word today, which is multi-potentialite. During COVID, I was actually part of a community called the Putty Like, if I remember correctly, the Putty Like community of people that fall under this term called multi-potentialite. And it's people that just do a, a wide range of different hobbies, work, skills, people that really are multi-passionate. And this kind of started to filter into what I was seeing in the Milestone One work. I'm definitely a multi-potentialite. And now I'm reflecting on that again as I go through the process of, of building this planner. And of course, most of my uh, passions and skills that I have done, which have been very varied over the years, have always been in the creative arts, visual arts, not necessarily like painting or drawing, but digital art, photography, film, creative thinking in online business. And I got really excited. And me and Shay, we started talking about this and she got really excited as well. And we came up with some planner ideas. Let me get my iPad quickly. And some of the product ideas that we came up with was a creative flow journal, 365 days of creative thought, creative flow for online business owners, a multi-passionate planner, and a multi-passionate creative flow planner. 
So this is where I'm going with this. Me and Shay, we started talking about this a bit more. She started to encourage me to also think about an add-on service to a planner like this. And Shay mentioned to me, like, I do this with you. We do this together. And this is um, like a think with me session. I don't know if it exists. Maybe I will create something like this. But it's um, basically facilitating like a creative flow, a creative thinking session with online entrepreneurs to map out their new ideas or new projects, etc. Oh, yes. And then another planner that we thought of, a creative project planner. This would be a planner I would create that would home only one project. So, of course, we have the multi-passionate planner, which would be like my focus planner in my product suite. But the creative project planner would be the planner that would only house one project. And we also thought about bundling up this planner in different colors so that each color could represent a different project, for example. That is the exciting news that I have all about just this week doing a bit of brain down. And I promise you, I my session that I just sat down to work on the Milestone One workbook was not even that long. I think if I have to hone in on this even a bit more, I think I could come up with some even better ideas. We'll see. But for now, I'm feeling really good. And this coming week, I will be working on the digital planner design, figuring out planner types, planner base and layout, taking what I've mapped out here that has been connected with my niche and my experiences, et cetera, and seeing how I can start to formulate that into a planner. I've got the product ideas. So now it actually comes into mapping those ideas out. So that's what we're going to be focusing on this next week. Okay, so that's a wrap for this week. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on this part of the journey. I hope it's giving you a glimpse into the creative process of designing a digital planner and setting up an online store. Each week brings new challenges, new victories, and a step closer to our goal. And you're excited to see how my digital planner turns out. Make sure you hit the like button and share this with anyone else interested in learning more about our journey. Remember, there's much more to come, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our next episode. Together, we'll continue unlocking the creative journey one week at a time. Thank you for being part of this adventure. Until next time, keep exploring, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next episode of Behind the Design. Okay, ciao.